Mike Dixon, Steve McNamara in. It's Mackey. Deep ball to Shelford coming the other way. Tackled by Mike Dixon. Referee says play on. It's a try under the post. Well, that was a sloppy, sloppy, sloppy try. Welcome to Wilderspool Stadium as the Saints side just take the field here at Wilderspool for the opening home league game of the season. Waddington, of course, getting only one point from the Boulevard on Sunday. St. Helens have just taken the pitch now and we're waiting for the Waddington side. And I'm joined tonight by Ron Hoop, the St. Helens commentator. And I'll be extremely polite and ask him to talk about the teams for Saints play. And Waddington still not opening the ball up, but Thirstfield gets it eventually. Five yards short, so the pressure past couple of minutes is certainly coming from Warrington but the Saints tackling appears to me to be up to it at the moment on to Mackey again there's going to be a kick here and that's going to be Mark Forster and Mark Forster scores in the corner and Fockerty, four or five yards short the referee telling the Saints players to get off the Warrington man let him play the ball Warrington now trying to spin it out and another kick ahead and it's Foster again and it's another try the now Warrington feed Mackey to feed possibly the last scrum of the match Jim well certainly the half another kick ahead and who's it going to be this time is it going to be foster again and foster scores his third warrington try of the evening just as ronald was saying that warrington have been breaking this in helen's defense pressure coming from warrington in the first two or three minutes of the game mackie again a long spin pass onto kevin ellis misses a man out jonathan davis a long pass this time onto maguire and is maguire going to score for warrington there's some good attack for Warrington in the past two or three minutes. Moving the ball out. That's onto Ellis. It's onto Mackey. Mackey eventually onto Bennett. Bennett this time onto Shelford. There's room here. That's going to be Alan Bateman, who will score under the post. Really difficult to get the ball onto Mark Foster. Really would have been in the clear. And here's the first try, is it? No, it's not. Kelly Shelford pulled down inches short of the line. Warrington still in possession. I've got to move the ball. Long pass out onto Jonathan Davis. Davis will score. He faints as if to hand the ball onto Chris Rudd, but a, a clear try from Jonathan Davis, a long pass. No doubt we'll hear some whistling as we do every time now, I think, in rugby league games, every time somebody takes a goal kick. And he's kicked that one as well. So Derek Fox, he'll restart the game from right underneath his own post. Tremendous drop goal expert, Derek. You can see there, reaching the halfway line, Chelford catches it on the full, gives the ball to Penny, who drives deep into the Bradford on half, makes a good break. Great bit by Penny, men inside him. Well, what a response from Warrington. On to Mackey. Good run through from Mackey. Eventually on to Paul Cullen. And he's got Ellis on his, on his left hand side, but is Paul Cullen going to score? He gets the ball onto Ellis. And Ellis is going to score. And Ellis badly tackled there. A high tackle after he puts the ball down. Something that we don't like to see in rugby league. And the referee is telling the Oldham player, I can't quite see who it is, I think it's number nine, John Clark, but Ellis is certainly hurt, certainly it was a high tackle, and after the ball was scored, and I will be very, very surprised indeed if Mr Cummings does not give John Clark his marching orders, he certainly told him to get away from anybody else, Kevin Ellis is up again, but he's got to, a knock to his neck or his shoulder, there was really no need for that, something we don't like to see, don't really seem to make too much ground doing it. Paul Cullen, Greg Mackey, onto Shelford again, this is onto Alan Bateman, nice break from Bateman, cut size his way through, eventually onto Jonathan Davis, Jonathan Davis I think is going to get as close to the post as he can, coming to help him. Martin Crompton, taken well by Jonathan Davis, gets the ball away onto Yesin Harris, and Harris has got some room in which to move here, Using Davis as well, and Harris still going. Centre field. Is Harris going to score? He's still going, but the Oldham defenders trying to tackle him, and he does very well indeed. On to Kevin Ellis, a try under the post, really made by a long pass from Jonathan Davis. But that was a good move. On again to Chambers. Chambers going towards the line. Is Chambers going to score? Yes, he is. Had a very good game this afternoon, Chambers. That puts Warrington in the lead by 41 points to six. The five players, Jonathan Davis kicks ahead and there's going to be a chase here and there are three Warrington players, who's it going to be who's going to score? I think it's going to be Foster and it is, a kick ahead by Jonathan Davis 75 yards, fully 75 yards and Foster scores his second try of the afternoon 
It's very difficult to stop. Not only has his boot come off, his socks come off as well. That's onto Jonathan Davis, and it's going to be Foster again. This time Sanderson comes on the angle drawn steps, gets past Anthony Farrell, drills Maguire on a charge to the line. That's a superb try. Now inside the 20, trying to get the ball away. It's on to, this time it's an inside move onto Shelford, but uh, that's Maloney again. A superb break from Maloney again, unloading the ball, and that's Mackin. What have we said about Maloney? He's in everything. Turner again. A long punt upfield. Lee Penny, just outside the 20. What's Lee Penny going to do? Is he going to spin the ball on? Yes, no, he isn't. In fact, yes, he is. Eventually, Lee Penny does well. Does very well indeed. There's Mark Foster on his own. Unloads the ball onto Yestin Harris, who will score right under the post. And that really was made by a lovely jinking run from Lee Penny. Wellington moving on to the narrow side. Mark Hilton, but the Bradford Northern tackle has come in. Three-man tackle, making sure the ball is still clutched. It's not made available. On again to Mackie. Mackie spins it out right. Maloney. Alan Bateman. Alan Bateman still going, looking around for support, but he's tackled there. Just two or three yards short. Wellington still in possession. On to Thursfield. And Thursfield has scored. Thursfield scores for Wellington. An opportunist try, really, after a very good break there from Alan Bateman. The tackle there, just in front of the post. John Thursfield again onto Mackey, the Wellington playmaker. Onto Paul Cullen. Paul Cullen going on his own and has scored. The referee goes over fairly slowly, and the referee is given the try. Bradford with all the pressure on. Good long ball out. Little chip for the corner. To chase and David Myers getting back there. Referee giving the try as David Myers. We couldn't actually see what happened, but bad defensive mistake there. Mark Forster just beating David Myers to that ball. So players, but Wellington now in attacking formation. On again to Francis Maloney, a kick ahead again. Is this going to be another try for Wellington? And it is. Right. Pitch, and the team is at fullback Lee Smith, the three-quarter line. Danny Ellison, Paul Burns, Vince Forster. And Wellington as yet have not had the ball in the grass. Well, they have, I suppose they have now. It's Gary Tees on to Bateman. Bateman a kick ahead, and it's going to be Mark Foster who will score in the corner. Would kick ahead, and there was Mark Foster. Still hands on immediately to Mackey. Mackey on to Maguire. Maguire to Maloney. It's in the hands of Alan Bateman. Bateman this time on to Foster. Foster still going. That's on to Mackey. Mackey going towards the line. A beautiful try for Warrington. It's in one. And Workington spinning it along. Vince Forster, I think, here. He's just ankle tapped there by Davis. Workington's still in possession, still trying to get the ball away. And it surely will be another try for Wellington, will it? Yes, it is. Greg, Greg Mackey, what a chap to the accidents, really, for the Workington defence. Wellington's still in possession. They're hungry for points now. Spinning the ball along. It's onto Maloney. It's onto Shelford. Wellington with an overlap. And Shelford going forward. And Shelford scores there at about 15 yards to the left. It's not particularly quiet. There's a fair crowd here, probably about 5,000. But the day really has dawned very bright indeed. Very bright sunshine. Shelford. And Warrington have got space here. Bruce Maguire straightens up, going towards the line. Looking for support. Don't to Barlow, who will score! do so and it's on again to Shelford switching the line of attack Penny Penny going for the line and Penny's going to score and what a superb try from the Wellington fullback he has taken quite a bit of criticism for not unloading the ball because there's a huge gap on the left hand side if they can get it fast enough Done to Shelford Shelford again on to Rufa Kelly Shelford at dummy half, that's on to Mackey, the playmaker. Mackey inside this time to Maloney, the ball spins away. That's on to Lee Penny. Lee Penny's still going, he must get rid of the ball. And this is going to be Gaston Harris who will score for Warrington on the left-hand side. Bateman to ground, Warrington could do with another try, I think. 
A long pass this time onto Maloney, which he has to reach for, but Maloney's still going. Maloney going towards the line, and he scored a very good try from Maloney. Kelly Shelford onto Mackey. To Maloney. Maloney again. A good break by Maloney. Absolutely superb play by Maloney. Maloney's he going to go all the way. Trying to get the ball away. Onto Barlow. Right under the post. And what a marvellous break by Francis Maloney. Kelly Shelford onto Maloney again. A kick ahead by Maloney. And he takes it well. Hands the ball on this time to Mark Foster. Right. Under the post. Mackey, Shelford, Maloney beginning to hook the passes together in midfield. Here's Mackey again. Back to Cullen. Cullen, good ball to Harris. Harris coming through. He's got tees on his outside. And it's number eight for Warrington. Gary Tees in for the try. Only just arrived back on the field from his Sinbin experience. Second row, but once was a centre. That was just a tactical substitution to give Gary Tees a breather. That's why Paul Darvish is on. And it's Barlow going for the line. And Tuckery Barlow. He caught that pass superbly. Magnificent catch and run by the man from Waikato. Thanks, Greg. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. A warm welcome to Wilderspool Stadium for this uh, Boxing Day fixture, the annual traditional Boxing Day fixture. Warrington against Witness in the Stones Bitter Championship. This is Jim Kidd on, on his own. Bateman at dummy half. On to Shelford again, but the Witness line still not broken. This time it's Maloney. Maloney's going to score. Maloney goes over just to the left of the post. The referee has fallen prostrate on the ground. One or two players having a laugh with him as well. But that really came from nothing. It was a break by Maloney. He slipped a tackle. Away he went. Right to the left of the post. The score now, Wellington eight points, witness two. And as we said, one little incident's going to win or lose this game. Horton oh, tackling the Wellington substitute. Back it comes to Mackey. Long ball thrown out. Not a good one from Mackey. Wellington have lost ground. It might still pay off for them. And some space now for Roper to work in. Or is he going in touch? Oh, he gets the ball inside. No, there must be a score, surely. And that was a well-worked try. Good ball thrown out and a chance perhaps for Warrington. There goes Roper, could score, will surely score. No, he won't. Yes, he will. That is a try. This, but it really is all Warrington at the moment. Onto Mackey again. Putting that a pitch. Onto Foster. Foster spins round back onto Mackey. Onto Shelford, is it? No, in fact, he's took any ball. Oh, who will score for Warrington?